That's nice, thank you. So good. So good. So good. Yes. Good people in tonight. Nice, warm, friendly people in tonight. They're yawning already at me and right in my face, but they're very nice as, so far. Listen, I want to start tonight with a few memories of Dermot Morgan. Lord, rest him. Uh, as you know, you saw in the news that his funeral mass was this morning. And even as I say that, I find it hard to sort of comprehend it because he was always so full of life and fidgety and full of ideas and darting about the place and dreaming up schemes and all of that. Now, he was regularly on the Late Late Show, as you know, down through the years, and we were very happy to be able to say that we were always available to him when he needed a little boost or a leg up or a bit of publicity or something like that. Mind you, it was a two-way trade because he was always very popular on the show and he gave us a great laugh and so on. We particularly admired his, his capacity for impersonating all the well-known politicals down through the years. And we want to start by putting together a few clips of him on various Late Late Shows. Uh, and we start with John Bruton. Roll it there, Ray, please. <laughs> Don't give me any trouble. Don't give me any trouble. Uh, I love you, you love me. <laughs> uh, he's, he's sort of a toy. He's not so much an action man, a man of action. He's an action man. He's kind of a toy, isn't he? You know, what about, he what walks, about? he talks, he laughs, he dribbles. <laughs> Poor old Albert. Albert, do a deal with Then I'll do a deal with you, you do a deal with me. I'll say anything. I'll talk to the unionists, I'll talk to the provisionals, I'll talk to people with full driving licenses, I'll talk to anybody. <laughs> I shake hands, I... And it was, it was a great... Those, that halcyon two years or whatever it was that he was Taoiseach. I went to... I saw Jacques Chirac in the Elysee Palace. I said to him, big hall. <laughs> No, I'm, I don't, I don't want to be... Uh, I don't want to be taken off. I don't like it. It's not funny. I don't like the guy... Well, I... <laughs> you know, again, I don't feel that I have had... <laughs> the French... That... Shut that door. And, and no, I said, you know, I, I mean, I have done so much for Hollywood, and I have met so many of the great stars. I was, I was talking to E.T. recently. So we're exactly the same height, and uh, <coughs> though he's slightly better looking, obviously. Uh, you know, I, mean, I, mean, I suppose that I myself am slightly spaced out, extraterrestrial from, from the planet Galway, as it were. I'll say this much to you. Do you know what she did? What Wilma did? She came in to me just because we're in Brussels. She handed me the old petit déjeuner, the old breakfast. What did I get? Did I get rashers? Oh, no. I got croissants. I said, you can take them out of here, woman. You know what I want. Go out and make me my sandwiches. I'm gay. At 120 grand a year, I can make a lot of sandwiches with that much bread. I can tell you that much. <laughs> because uh, the arts are always popular, and uh, we are joined on the arts show today by uh, art critic extraordinaire Des O'Malley. <laughs> uh, may I call you Des? All right, I see I may not. All right. Uh, now, Des, let's look at this painting we have in front of us, which is called simply Cow in a Lorry. Tell us a little bit about it. I'll tell you what Fianna Fáil remind me of. <laughs> they remind me of a bunch of cartoon characters. And they have an old banger there up on blocks. And it's backfiring in Belgium. You didn't say farting, but you meant it. <laughs> and the old Minister for Finance has his head under the bonnet, and he's doing a bit of fine-tuning with the hammer. <laughs> I had this notion of Jimmy McGee being stopped by the guard. <laughs> Stodd, stand there. Hello, how are you, Dad? How are you, Jimmy? <laughs> Do you know what speed you were doing there? <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that, but if you'd asked me what speed I was doing on the way to the 84 Monster Farm, <laughs> it'd have been 75 between Ness and Newbridge. <laughs> 86 all the way from Newbridge, Turlingford, and an astonishing 110 all the way from Ness, Turlingford into Turles. <laughs> The, 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 the thing is, um, <laughs> um, uh, gay, that, uh, 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 um, uh, uh, we're looking at uh, the, the, the Christmas trees, and uh, the, the thing that I would be hoping for um, with the Christmas trees is growth. Um, <laughs> 33.33% in the trees would be uh, uh, tremendous, but uh, I, I, I think that Mr. Spring is. We're going to discover that uh, the, the, the Christmas tree is very like the political system and that, uh, uh, as the fairy indeed knows, the, the closer you get to the top, um, the more uncomfortable it gets. <laughs> 
I think he would probably say, you effing idiot, Flynn, what are you doing? You're breaking my Mara. <laughs> I'm the only point. I'm trying to run this place. I've got gobshites everywhere. <laughs> no, no, well, of course, uh, you know, gay, that is part of the new protocol, uh, uh, because we have a new Elysee Palace, uh, that we adopt French protocol. Uh, <laughs> And so all uh, the TDs and all the ministers, particularly cabinet meetings, the ministers come in and uh, kiss me on both cheeks uh, before the, the meeting. And then I, I pull up my trousers <laughs> and, uh, of course, uh, we get on with it. You never saw that coming. <laughs> well, uh, he... Uh, He also had he also had one of my favourite songs about his own pet Alsatian because he was an accomplished and very funny songwriter. Watch this. <laughs> the times are out and terror final saved us one and all. So we looked at him as he lay there on the ceiling, the floor and the wall. Another matter for our Ireland. Boy, Brett's honey cruelly slain. <laughs> you went for it? Yes. Some day up there, I hope he'll be an Alsatian once again. An Alsatian once again. An Alsatian once again. So to put poor Eamon in with the murderer, a man who was going down for life, who turned to him and said, well, hello, Blondie. How do you feel about being my new wife? But Eamon started talking about Brady, attacking Maradona and Stapleton. John Hume, Jackie Charlton, Mrs. Robinson. You know the list, it just goes on and on. <laughs> now the psycho in the cell who fancied him all had to suffer the tire the whole damn night. When dawn broke over Fibsborough next morning, the poor sod was swinging gently from the light. <laughs> sing and release the little bollocks in the wing. Sing up, sing up, sing up! Get them out of here, I hear them sing. Skitty doot and dike and dike and da. On their windows, they're banging. Get them out their wing back hanging. Or at least the little bollocks in the wing. Thanks! And, uh... Finally, in uh, September 94, he came on the show and told us about a brand new television series which was to bring him huge success and he was looking forward to it so much. Have a look at this. I'm off to Channel 4. Uh, I think this is why I'm slightly in the black gear tonight because yes. uh, there's a new sitcom coming on Channel 4 called Father Ted and uh, the writers are two insane geniuses. This is not a joke now, this, this is, is serious. For real. This is, this is for real. Two insane geniuses called Graham Linhan and Arthur Matthews and uh, I suppose because of my previous clerical experience they decided I might make um, a suitable priest. So I got the role as Father, of Father Ted in the Father Ted show which is produced by Hattrick Productions. They're, they do all the Angus Dayton and Clive um, Anderson stuff. And They're kind of the AC Milan of comedy producers. Is this a series as a they series, say? A series, yeah. It, it runs for I'm off to London and it would be great. Gordon Bennett up to see Jürgen Klinsmann. Do leave it out. Pick it out of back of the net, son. <laughs> so I think it'll be great fun to, to live for a while in London and, and do the gig and uh, have a good time. And what are you an Irish priest now in this? Are you, do you have to do I'm the I'm not prepared accent? to say on that gay. I, I, don't, I, don't want to, I don't want to tip my hand on that. But uh, I, it would be, it would be, there's a, there's a high um, Irish element in it, but it's, it's, I don't think it's peculiarly or particularly Irish. Uh, I, think it, I think it will travel very well. It, it's just an insane uh, piece of writing by these uh, two insane geniuses oh. and Jeffrey Perkins at Hattrick. Uh, well, we wish you well on that. How about James that? Well done. <laughs> and off he went to enjoy the success which he enjoyed. Now, there's no more to be said, just Lord rest him. All right? Lord rest him. Now, um, we have something a little bit unusual for you. For the last seven years, 